This video covers a comparison of the PRS Custom 24 and Gibson Les Paul. Note that we're focusing on the Les Paul standard, though there are other versions like the Custom and Studio, with specs that can vary. If you want to shop for these guitars or other gear, consider using our Sweetwater links in the description below. They're a retailer we trust, and they help support this channel, yet at no extra cost to you. Thanks to all for enjoying and trusting our content. Let's get started with the comparison. There are really just a few similarities between these guitars. They include a mahogany body, figured maple top piece, and a dual pickup configuration. A humbucker at the bridge and neck positions. Now for the differences. There are a lot, but we'll go one at a time. One, bridge and tailpiece. A PRS Gen 3 patented tremolo on the Custom 24 and an ABR1 tune-o-matic bridge with a stop bar on the Les Paul. Two, pickups. We have PRS TCI tuned 8515 humbuckers on the Custom 24 and two Gibson burst buckers on the Les Paul. Three, volume control. One in the PRS and two in the Les Paul. Four, tone control. One in the PRS and two in the Les Paul. Five, selector switch. We get a five-way blade in the PRS and a three-way toggle in the Les Paul. Six, nut width, 1.6875 inches in the PRS and 1.695 inches in the Les Paul. Seven, scale length, 25 inches in the PRS and 24.75 inches in the Les Paul. Eight, fret count, 24 in the PRS and 22 in the Les Paul. The single biggest disadvantage of the PRS Custom 24 is the price tag. At a crisp $4,000, it tags an extra $1,500 on what you'd pay for the Les Paul standard. Despite the fact we love PRS guitars, that's a huge ask from PRS, which doesn't give us a lot of reason to fork over the extra money. Mahogany for the body and figured maple for the top piece are in both guitars. And while you could potentially argue that the top carving in the PRS is nicer than the Gibson, the amount and quality of work looks to be fairly similar. PRS is also less known than Gibson for their pickups, though you have one of their nicest options in the Custom 24, the TCI-tuned 8515 set. On the other side of our coin, Gibson gives you their own Burst Bucker pickups, one of our favorite sets, and everything else you'd expect from a vintage-style Gibson Les Paul. We would note that the tone of this guitar is somewhat different, a bit brighter and less percussive than the PRS. In the PRS, you get a thicker, punchier, and more percussive tone, while Gibson Les Pauls tend to be brighter and more intense, better for lead guitar and more treble-leaning EQs. Those who prefer a warmer, more rhythmic and percussive tone might be okay with spending the extra money to get the custom 24. Why exactly do they sound different? It's honestly hard to tell. Likely it's the pickups because, as we mentioned previously, the bodies and tonewood makeup are quite similar between the two guitars. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at guitarchalk.com.